a cordial greeting. Today is Monday, October 14, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to update the forecast related to Invest 94, which currently has a medium probability of cyclonic development as it moves towards the west-southwest. Between Friday and Saturday, it could approach parts of the northeastern Caribbean. It is important for residents of the northern Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the Bahamas to pay close attention to the evolution of this low-pressure system. All global models project that it will develop into Tropical Storm Nadine by the end of this week. However, it remains to be seen how close it will pass to the Antilles. As of 2 a.m. today, the National Hurricane Center maintains a 40% chance of cyclonic development, but I suspect this probability will increase to 50% in the 8 a.m. outlook. We will stay alert especially since the potential development area includes sectors of the northeastern Caribbean. Let's zoom in on the infrared satellite animation, where we can see the circulation of Invest 94, which remains quite defined. In fact, over the past 12 hours, we have seen that the low pressure is developing thunderstorms over the center of circulation, despite conditions in this part of the Atlantic remaining unfavorable for development for at least the next 3 to 4 days. Once it crosses the longitude 50 or 55 degrees west, it may encounter better conditions for development which is why a medium probability of cyclonic development is maintained. As I mentioned yesterday, remember that the high pressure in the Atlantic will be very strong, which will help steer Invest 94 toward the west-southwest, meaning it is projected to lose latitude over the next 48 hours. This will be the first thing to watch, as moving further south could increase its chances of eventually reaching the Caribbean. From Wednesday, it should begin to take a more west-northwest turn. According to the latest trajectory projections, Models suggest it will pass about 200 miles northeast of Puerto Rico and 75 to 100 miles north of the Lesser Antilles. In the longer term, some models project that in about five days, when it is located north of Puerto Rico, it should start turning more southwestward, which could bring the center of circulation closer to the northern Dominican Republic, Haiti, eastern Cuba, and the Turks and Caicos Islands. This is why residents from Cuba to Puerto Rico and the northern Lesser Antilles should remain attentive to possible changes in the forecast. Moreover, as Invest 94 moves along its future path, it will pass over increasingly warmer ocean surface temperatures. The heat content in the sea in this area is high, which could help fuel the potential future tropical storm Nadine. Some intensity models already project that it could become a strong tropical storm or hurricane in about five days, when it passes very close to the north of Puerto Rico. At least for the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, global models also project that its path will likely pass just northeast of the region. However, in about six to seven days, some of these models show it could approach the northern coasts of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Let's review the latest projections. We'll start with the American model, the GFS. In its latest run, it shows a strong tropical storm or a Category 1 hurricane passing just north of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, about 150 miles away, and eventually making landfall between Saturday and Sunday over northern Dominican Republic and Haiti as a Category 1 hurricane. Keep in mind that this is just one model run and changes could occur throughout today and the coming days. For instance, under this scenario, the GFS model projects the heaviest rains would remain to the north of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico but could reach parts of the Dominican Republic with rainfall estimates of 100 to 200 millimeters, which could cause some flooding issues. On the other hand, we also have the European model projection, which shows a slightly more northern path, passing about 200 to 300 miles northeast of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, eventually approaching as a tropical storm the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands between Sunday and Monday of next week. Under this scenario, the European model suggests that impacts across the Dominican Republic Puerto Rico, Haiti, the northern Lesser Antilles, and the Virgin Islands would be minor since tropical storm force winds would remain over Atlantic waters, along with the heaviest rain staying away from the region, except for the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos, where over 200 millimeters of rain could fall. We also have the German model projection, which shows a trajectory just north of Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Dominican Republic, heading toward the Turks and Caicos Islands as a tropical storm. At the moment, there is still some uncertainty. The first thing we need to watch is how far south the circulation can move over the next 48 to 72 hours to better determine how close or far it might pass from the Lesser Antilles Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. At present, the consensus is that it should pass just to the north and northeast of the region as a tropical storm, which would be the best scenario for the northeastern Caribbean. However, remember that this is a long-term forecast, and much can change, from a trajectory further away to one reaching the Caribbean. 
The important thing is to stay informed in the coming days with official bulletins from the National Hurricane Center. I will be monitoring the situation closely to keep you updated. I will also record another video later this afternoon to update the situation in the Western Caribbean, where the GFS model continues to project that a tropical depression could develop east of Nicaragua, if necessary, and if there are significant changes with Invest 94, I will record another video later today. To ensure you don't miss this content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye for now. I hope you all have an excellent Monday. See you later.